Right guys, welcome back to another episode of the Journey Career Mode. We are over in the Netherlands with Ajax now. What a transfer window we had. Um, let's take a look into today's episode. So, two clear games to play today. Monaco, Atletico Madrid. I talked the last episode about maybe doing two months an episode because you look at a month like this I'm probably only going to play Dynamo Kiev that month um, but then of course if I went into two episodes how did I decide who to play here because I'll probably play PSV and Monaco there might be episodes lads where I only play one game I think that's the easiest way to go um, but lads We've got the career challenges as always. It's our first full season in this journey career where we have them. So let's take a look. So kicking things off lads. We've got the Dennis the Menace objective. Which is get top goal scorer with Dennis in the Champions League. Why not the Eredivisie? Because we don't care about it. Um, Cabrais is like highest up with ZH. Which yeah. I'm just seeing the player of the month here. And there's three Ajax players out of the four nominees it's the way it's going to be all season lads so we're focused on Champions League we've also got penalty pressure which applies in all competitions but I'm really only going to be playing Champions League games for some reason about halfway through this game I've started to suck at penalties so I've set, set this objective score three penalties now I thought about going five it's like why do you only go three what if we don't get that many penalties? Now, if we get a penalty shootout, great opportunity. They count. But it's going to be tough to win three penalties this season. The fourth fit for that is to go out and take five dizzy penalties. <laughs> um, they're a good crack. But after the second or third one, you, you do struggle. Um, anybody that's done it will know. And then final objective from the academy. Ajax, known for having one of the best youth academies in world football. We want 15 scorer points with players 23 and under. And lads, I won't lie, we've got a bit of a cheat here. Um, Dennis is currently only 23. So for the first half of the season, he counts towards this objective. We're already on 4 out of 15 and he's got all 4. So yeah, we could get a good bit of this done before the first half of the season. Currently, no forfeit for the Dennis and Menace objective, lads. Drop some in the comments. What I will say is make it something that I can just do like personally like five dizzy penalties or the forfeit for the academy objective is someone, anyone, randomer gets a 30 second clip at the start of one of my YouTube videos. I'll just post on my Snapchat, first person to pop up gets to be in the video, they pop up, send me a 30 second clip, they can say what they want and um, they can promote their own social media they can be like i don't know they can pure slag me off i can't do anything screen record it shove it at the start of the video boys that's it if we feel that objective it needs to be something that i can just do and um, don't say oh you have to play 10 games with your goalkeeper up front in the next career mode while that's a great objective my next career mode might not be until fifa 21 if we win the Champions League with Ajax and if we don't we just have to prepare for it at this point lads so drop your forfeits in the comments below lads so lads just before we get started today's video brought to you by Mars Milkshakes boys no they're not I just like drinking them um we don't get sponsors in this video I'm about 840 subs away from actually getting monetized but here lads see these things they are nice la they are really, really nice. Can't beat up. That is, that's another level, lads. Right, end of the episode then, I suppose. So, lads, first game of the episode. We are going to watch all these sims. Like, I'm not just going to sim past them and not show you. Um, obviously, it's a career mode. It's a normal career mode. That's why I'm not playing. Dennis with two goals, Martinez, Semedo, and Neres get to brace also. 6 0 again, lads. Um, so, like, obviously, I want to win the league. Of 
course I want to win the league, but... <laughs> and at the end of the season, I plan on watching the title celebrations, but there's no point us wasting our time on it. Lang has been sold for ten and a half million there to Sporting Lads, so we'll have a bit of money. We now have Monaco coming up. Let's get into the press conference. Get the lads hyped up. Our first Champions League game. <sighs> Ferrari again. Time isn't right. You know what? I think I'm going to release this, man. Um, we need to stay focused. Um, I suppose there's a possibility. Ajax against Monaco. Netherlands against French football. Tough. How much money do I have here, lads? 13 million, right? Where is he? I have enough backup strikers. I have Traore, I have Kamara. And a couple of guys here can play up front. Right. You're 26 and you're 68 rated, mate. You should probably probably just quit, like. Here. That's not a bad transfer fee for getting rid of a piece of crap, like, is it? 900k. Thank you. Bye-bye. Night-night. Right. In the Champions League against Monaco, lads. At home for our first... Champions League game of the campaign, lads. Monaco, we've been ripping up the Eredivisie. So, let's rip up Europe. Nelson Semedo, that's quality, son. He just can't get the cross in. Van de Beek. Goes back to Ziyech. Neres! How you put that wide, mate? Oh, Ziyech has still got it. Ziyech scores. Didn't know what was going on there, lads. But Ziyech gets the goal. We're 1-0 up on 38 minutes. It's been a long one, lads. I won't lie. Um, definitely has taken a while. I've paused up. Break it. 30... Eight and a half. One nil off, boys. Let's go. Oh my word, Monaco have equalised. That didn't last long. We were in front for about four minutes. Oh my lord. Keita Balde equalises for the French side. We go again, lads. Let's go on, son. Cabrice plays it back. Oh, Ziyech, what a save. And the defender wouldn't get his fat backside out of the way. Come on. Need a good start, lads. Florentino. Dennis, you need to be top scorer, mate. Oh, he's hit the post. How oh, has Cabrice not got it either? He friggin' like slid under it or something. Dennis, that's beautiful, son. Dennis scores. Come on. The beast that needs to be Champions League top scorer. Don't even know what I'm going to have to do if I fail that one yet. That's a scary thought. But Dennis gets the goal. Beautiful skillage in the village. And we're 2 1 up, lads. Come on. Right, 70 minutes, lads. I think it's time for subs. Some guys are looking tired. We're going to bring Promise on for Neres. Um, there's a lot of guys looking tired, I won't lie. Kamara can play on the right. I'm going to bring him on for Cabrice. And then... Who else do we bring on? I want to try Dest at CDM. Van de Beek's on a yellow card. Don't like it. He's got the 4 star, 4 star and the 90 pace. He can't do too bad, lads. Promise wasn't for making a run. He will make it now, though. He comes into the box. Cuts back. Ziyech comes back to him. 3-1. Bit of luck there. Bounce back to him off the defender. But we get the goal. And we get a bit of a comfort now. Good run from Promise. The 
defender actually gets a wee bit lucky there because he's not even looking. And Ziyech, his second goal of the game, 3 1 up lads. Oh, it's Dennis. Stop it, mate. Stop it. Oh, stop it, son. Oh, what a goal from Emmanuel Dennis. Look at him on his face. It's the way he flicked it back over. And then he hits the inside of the post. And oh, look at this. Mate, that should be illegal. I thought he'd missed it too. And it hits off the inside of the post. And it goes in. And it's 4-1, lads. Here's the itch. Out wide to Kamara. And the man with the pace. How the defenders got the ball there, I don't know. But it's full time. Good start. In fact, a great start to our Champions League campaign. We've come here. We've smashed Monaco. It's a good image for Dutch football, lads. 4-1 win. Dennis and Ziyech sharing the goals. Our first press conference lad, Semedo, he was good today, I enjoyed him. Dennis, what a beast he is, he's unreal. And um, give them full credit. I don't think they were really, really easy, but I think we deserved to win. Um, Van de Beek suspended now, that's great. <laughs> Just what we needed. Who's up next then lads? Fortuna and Groenien. So two Eredivisie games and then uh, a Champions League game which we'll obviously play. So it's in the Eredivisie games. 4-0 win. I'm just waiting for the moment that we lose or draw. I'm just thinking like it's going to be weird. Um, Feyenoord have dropped off. Are PSV keeping up with us? They are. They are keeping up, so the pressure is going to be on. But, like I'm guessing the board has said, they expect us to win the league title. Yeah. So, that's the way it is. Home to Groenien. How we doing? 3 1. Cabrai, Snares, and Dennis. Not as convincing as other score lines, but still very good. How's the group looking? Atletico Madrid, dead beat. Dynamo Kiev. Um, so I just want to check out of easy. How the frig did um, PSV do? How are they looking? Have they dropped off yet? No, I haven't played. It's all right. But still, twenty nine goals in eight games. It's not too bad. So who is the top scorer? Neres is on five, and Ziyech is on four. I didn't. Oh, that's right, we had qualifiers. I was just thinking about that. I was like, come on, some of these teams have had qualifiers. But we had them too. So we can't complain. And then obviously Dennis is down there on two and four games. Neres has played an extra game somehow. Let's get into our press conference. Hype the boys up. We want them ready. Because this is going to be a tough-ass game, lads. Um, we'll have to stay focused. Atletico are a good team. They're a very good team. Must avoid distractions. It's the biggest game in our group, lads. If we get a positive result, we're looking good. But it's going to be a tough away game, lads. Let's get into it. It's going to be tough, lads. Atletico, there's the man, Joel Felix. The big signing. Can he produce... But we have the boys, we have Dennis. Uh, Van de Beek is suspended today, so we've stuck Dest in the CDM. Because why not? ZH out wide to Cabrais. Cabrais trying to get in on Atletico. It's a good shot, and it's a good save. Dennis back to Dest. Dest! Oh, it's gone in! Oh, it was offside. It hit Dennis. Oh, no. I thought it just hit all their defenders. That would have been class for Dest because... It didn't even show us if it hit him. Because he's just been put into a team at CDM. 
last minute and he's almost scored. Cabrice. Room's being made for him. He's been brought down. Ref, he's been brought down. That's a penalty. What are you on? All Black's just swept his feet from under him. Florentino. Cabrice. Back to Florentino. 1-0. Beautiful football. We've been playing unreal here. Keeping Atletico at bay. And Florentino. I like the man. I've used them before in past FIFAs and past career modes. Never on YouTube, I don't think, but just in personal career modes for fun. Great player. Like scores here. We're 1 0 up against Atletico. Yeah. Dennis. That's a penalty ref. It has to be. Come on. We have a chance. We have a chance. Probably, yeah, it's good, right? Come on! One out of three! We actually can score them, thank goodness, boys. The curse is broken. At least for once. Um, finally, I thought about going down the middle too. So the fact he didn't dive there is scary. 2 0 up, lads. ZH. No one's closing on me, he's went for it. It's a good save from All Black. Corners whipped in. One more before the half, maybe, lads. It's clipped in. Dennis. Can't finish. But it's been a great first half of football, lads. Itch. Finds Cabrice, who gets into the middle, clips it across, all black, it's a hand. Dest, it's back to him! Per shot, it's wide. I think with that, lads, we're gonna make subs. Um, I'm going to bring on Prome as I can. ZH always gets quite tired. And I'm gonna bring on Bande at left wing. And I'll bring on Kamara again at right wing for Cabrice. <coughs> right, Nelson Semedo trying to get up the Spanish side. Whips it in, far post. Dennis is there, come on. 3-0, Emmanuel Dennis. What a beast of a player. Getting on the score sheet again. Great cross from Semedo. That pace down that right hand side is deadly. And we're 3 0 up. He's taking them all on. Pulls it to Dennis. Oh, Dennis just puts it wide. That was a great attack, you know. Here's Dest. Maybe looking. For one more opportunity, that's another penalty ref, come on. Oh, it's a free kick. Who's got the best freeze? Probably Promes. Come on, let's really end them, lad. Oh, and we do. Atletico Madrid have been smashed by Ajax. Lads, this is on ultimate difficulty, but this is actually such a team we're using. Delightful from Promes. And it's four lads, that is just quality. We can't beat it. 4 0 up in Spain. Did not expect this. And Atletico Madrid have been taught a lesson by Ajax tonight, lads. So what do we say about that game, lads? Cabrice must keep momentum, but he has been doing well. Yeah, no challenge, lads. I think you do need to raise your expectations of us because I have certainly raised them now, but time to focus on our next match. So I believe that is us.
for today's episode. Yep, no more games. We pick off in October. We might only have one game next episode, lads. There's nothing else worth playing there. Not even the cup game, I don't think. And next episode, the episode after that, this is why I'm only doing one month. I'll play Monaco and PSV, lads. So that's the way we're going to leave it. But I'm going to leave you with a big question, lads. Something that I've just thought about um, earlier today. ZH. He's one of our best players. He's a very good player to have in the team. What are his stats like? How's he doing? Eight goals and six assists in 17 appearances. One of our key players. In real life, he has signed for Chelsea already and the Eredivisie is finished, which probably technically means he's not an Ajax player anymore. I'm going to put a poll on Instagram, because I don't know how to do it on this. Um, should we sell ZH in January? Um, you can drop what you think in the comments below too, but head over to Instagram. It is GibbsyYT, all lowercase, and vote on it. Should we sell ZH since he's left in real life? That's all I'm going to leave you with now, lads. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.